Hey there, it's Erica here. It's taken me forever to do an update video and it just never seems to be the right time. So my car, it is. Um, it's been a while since I've given a couple updates. I've promised that I would share, so I will. Uh, and I'm gonna try to be as brief as possible while also sharing some new information that I hadn't shared previously. So if you've been following uh, for some of you, you've been following my health journey. For some of you, you've been following my aesthetic journey. Um, and so I will say this. I'm going to start with the arms because I still get um, posts about, uh, are my arms better? No, they're not. They are the exact same as they were um, when they were originally botched. So I appreciate all the suggestions. I have really just let it go. Um, it's not important to me. They're messed up. It is what it is. Um, and that is the chance you take when you're getting plastic surgery. So that's just something you have to take into consideration. Um, making sure you pick a surgeon who you've seen photos of all parts of their work. If they've done a fat transfer, what does their lipo work look like? Not just the fat transfer. We get so caught up on that part. Um, secondly, have the lumps gone away in my breast? No, they have not. And I feel like there's, I don't know if there's more, but they just, I just can't believe how many. Um, fat necrosis is there. It's crazy to me. Um, unattractive, I feel like. It doesn't feel, doesn't feel good. Um, so those are things you need to consider if you're going to have a fat transfer. And I'm sorry if I'm sharing this and you were super excited about getting one. You still have to make the decision for yourself, but I'm going to let you know that those are the two downsides um, that were that were rough. Um, fast forward, I shared in a previous um, video that I had had my implants put back in. Um, I don't regret that decision in any way, shape, or form. Some people have asked me, you know, has your health changed since? No, in the sense of not in a negative way. Um, but I don't think I necessarily had BII. I, I believe that um, I do or did or do have autoimmune issues. Um, and since being a, a functional nutritionist as well as a holistic health practitioner, I've learned a lot about health and um, where auto, how our immune can start and it doesn't necessarily start because you have breast implants so I just want to kind of share that and debunk that myth I'm not saying that it can't be a trigger but it doesn't mean it is the trigger and there are so many people these days um, <clears throat> with autoimmune conditions and they continue to increase because of the um, chemical pollutants in the air and they're just again there's there's a lot of variables but um, I actually, I think my health has definitely been in one of the better states it's been in a really long time. And that's, has nothing to do with or without the implants that just has to do with, um, what I've been doing with my health. Uh, what else did I want to share? I had not shared with y'all. Um, I don't know why I just didn't think it was really important at the time, but when I put my implants back in, I did do a, another fat transfer. I did a BBL. Um, please don't send me like a million questions on it because I just don't have enough aside from saying that it is one of the riskiest procedures. Um, did I know that when I did it? Yes and no. Again, at the time I had worked for a surgeon. Um, he was not the one who did it by the way, uh, just cause it was against policy at that time. But I felt like I was in good hands. Um, it didn't really last or work. Anywho, so uh, definitely make sure that if that's something you're looking into, you have not just before and after pictures of like the first month, second month, third month, you wanna see before and after pictures of like one year post-op because so much of it goes away. And um, I really feel like I maybe kept 5%, 10% if that. Um, Anywho, so that's probably why I didn't share so much originally, just because it was a whole nother topic. But, um, and I know that's the craze, and um, I don't know. I think my mind was in a, a, a crazy, crazy time when I was like, hey, I'm going to put him back in, might as well go in and do some other things. So it is what it is. Um, 
I will say that when you do get liposuction on um, the same area, so I had had it in my lower stomach and not my upper, and so they took it from my upper and my lower again, um, you just got to be really careful. I, I don't know that I've seen anyone that's had liposuction that their, their stomach look like it's never been touched. Like there is kind of this post lipo look that um, definitely is not a smooth appearance. Um, so not only, so it's worse when you've already had it in one place and they go back and again, um, but it could be any place that, that you have lipo if you don't have a whole lot there in the first place. So things also to consider. Um, I think those are about all the updates. If you have any specific questions, if you want me to talk on certain topics, let me know. Happy to do so. I uh, just wanted to make sure I came in, hopped on, shared a few updates. Um, and I'll put my link to kind of what I've been doing, what I'm doing um, in relation to health uh, with others. So you can see that if you're interested, you can let me know. Send me a, a message on, on Instagram or um, here. Um, my IG is my name pretty much. Alrighty. 